Hello YouTube, this is Christonian here and we are back with RimWorld. We're jumping into 254B. Uh, I don't know why B is not there, but that's okay. It was actually on the... and we shouldn't have this if we're not in B. Uh, lesser aggressive version than Cassandra, good for first game. It starts out pretty chilly, but it gets really exciting towards the end. Classic Cassandra, tough Cassandra. Phoebe and Random Randy, and no other profiles yet. We're going to go with ca Classic Cassandra because uh, people were saying I should uh, do a Classic Cassandra first, prove myself again, and then go to Tough Cassandra. Supposedly, uh, Tough Cassandra has a cap of seven colonists. Huh. Warning the game is not optimized yet. Uh, degrade larger maps. The game plays as well at 200-200, so please stick at that unless your machine is a beast. You will be encountering some issues. So maybe we'll do that on our next one, because that wouldn't be a bad idea. Whoa, cool. Cooking. This skill does nothing <laughs> as it's not finished in Red World yet. Uh, medicine. Uh, artistic. And crafting. Huh. New stuff, people. Okay, I got uh, some uh, names here. We got, uh, I'm looking for, that's not too bad. Uh, 10 mining, 6 construction, 3 growing, not bad. Telescopic vision and low pain threshold. So I went through the last video there where we voted and I just looked at all the names and uh, of uh, people that posted and Anthony Wood caught as a name that was kinda cool be part of our thing. Nines across the board awesome, he's a medieval slave, colony, settler, empathy and fragile uh, traits are just for a bit of story now but mostly most of them don't do anything this will change in future versions okay this will be a bronze dog. Yes, you've made it in. Okay, you're a settler and Matthews. Ooh, 12, 8, and 5. Hmm. I need a oof with good. Uh, I was hoping like a guy with good social and good growing. That's what I'm going for. There we go. Uh, three, seven across the board. Nope. Uh, nine and three growing. Whoa, there we go. Seven and ten. We got him. And he's oaf. So, this will be Guild of Calamity. Okay, you're a medieval lordling with a medieval farm oaf. Uh, uncreative. <laughs> and... Congeal, congile. Someone will have to post what that means. But let's uh, actually read this. Tilling, hoeing, gilding, ox, uh, pushing wheelbarrow, digging ditches, and planting seed. Predicting the harvest. Medieval level of farmers aren't educated in the usual sense, but they know a lot about growing plants without technology. That said, such a life leaves one as uh, essentially incapable of particular intellectual technology-driven activities. So he can't do research, which is fine. And then as a lordling, one's a minor normal noble in the Old Kingdom on the medieval world. She grew up in a manor made of stone, served by bowing, bowing lower classmen. Such a life teaches no technical skills and insists a long life, lifelong aversion to manual labor. But Guild of Calamity uh, learned early the ways of social manipulation. Oh, I can't get calamity? Nope. 
<laughs> Guild of Calm. Uh, bronze is uh, grew up as a medieval slave, pulling carts and digging holes on a medieval world. Simple manual labor is his oldest companion, along with Master's Lash. He didn't learn to read until he was nine. Colony Settler was a seller of a new colony worlds, such as life. Trades give him a basic uh, jack-of-all-trades, basic hands-on tasks. Uh, medieval nerd, midworld nerd. Had a good birth, reasonable parents, and went to a decent school on the mostly well-governed midworld. She was a uh, consummated nerd, interested in technology and uninterested in people. Deep Space Miner did the sweaty, grimy work of pulling metal out of asteroids on the dig on the deep space rig. She used her hands on the industrial skills daily and wasn't bad in a bar fight either. <laughs> okay, let's start. What this game's about, so why not? The three of you awoke in your long sleep sarcophagus, I guess, to the sound of sirens and ripping metal. You barely get to the escape pods before the ship is torn apart. A few hours later, you land on this unknown rim world. As pieces of shredded starship fall around you, you start making plans to survive. Whoa, look at that. We got multiple uh, breaks. Look, okay, we even have some uh, stone for a temporary wall right away. Hmm. This is going to be good. And there's uh, quite a few uh, there, 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 there. Like a lot of exposed uh, steel there, there, and there's qu quite a few piles too. So again, I'm going to uh, focus on getting this done, and then we're going to move our base indoors. Okay, I'm going to overview. Repairing. Yeah, that's a new one. What's that there? Constructing... Yep, yeah, that's a new one. Okay, so this guy, we're gonna... Uh, he can repair and construct. Just, I don't want him mining. Uh, let's uh, also do... I was gonna say, we could just do... Uh, food, but I'm thinking I'm just gonna leave it, actually. Because I know we have, oh, we have less food than we used to. Okay. And we'll just let him haul like crazy because there's a bunch of stuff that he can haul in while those guys dig. Uh, let's check our stuff because I bet you some stuff has changed. Let's check our stockpile. Still needs 200. Power conductor 1, paved tile. Smooth stone still costs nothing. Walls and sandbags, still three. Uh, zero for a grave, 50 for a battery, 250, 90, 120, and 80. Those seem to be all the same. 160, so it went up again just by 10. Uh, looks about all the same there. And it doesn't look like we have anything new. Uh, and nothing new here. Probably gonna research that first, even though we don't have a researcher yet. And let's speed this baby up. Hmm. So that's cool, it only records how long you've actually played now. So, character shooting three. Shooting three. Shooting three. And we're going to use a bronze dog as our gunner for now. Because it just sounds badass. Badass!
So I'm just going to let them get everything out here for now. And forbid that. No. Do I care about it? Hmm. Not really. We're doing okay. As is. Yes, look at that. There's a geyser in there too. Jackpot. This is going to be a good game. Well, that's the other thing, is having that extra raw food source or whatever works out well. Because they can just eat right directly from it. Okay. I'm gonna... I'm gonna build my solar bank back here. Where do I want it here? Yeah, I might just do it here and make everything close by each other. Yeah, see, that's going to be enough room. So if I go like this. Two. Two. And then orders. Dig this baby out. And I'm also going to dig that out. I'm going to have to build a food dispensary right away, probably. Because I don't think... There's some raw food over here, I think. Yeah. But that's okay. Should uh, look at their thoughts now. See if there's anything new. New colony optimism. Eat raw food. Minus 12. Sharing a bedroom and slept outside. Had a chat. Okay. Let's go. Huh, it even made a dump zone. I don't know if we got a dump zone last time. So I gotta make a uh, stockpile. I'm going to make over here, just because uh, both of these areas I'll mine the crap out of, and then I was thinking I can make a grow up in this area, or maybe down here, just uh, wall that whole area in, and that'll be where our hydroponics is. Uh, we also need to uh, put in a farming, really. Okay. I'm going to unforbid that. And what else do I need to do? I'm going to put a dump zone near there, too. Uh, dumping area. Over here, where I don't really care. Okay. Got an overview and click off that kind of stuff for them so they prioritize what they're actually doing. Let's do structure, power conductor here, and then we can have the geyser tap in and then we'll have a massive battery bank. Ha ha ha, and we found some, uh, another uh, metal vein it looks like. So buildings.
structure. Oh, stop, stop, stop. That was weird. Okay, power conductor here. And let's put some beds down. Furniture. Okay, we also need some structure here and go like that. And I'm going to dig all the way around. And then this will be our battery. I think those are enough batteries already for quite a bit. I'm not going to expand on them. I'm going to say orders, uh, haul things away. Yeah, I guess that's the new thing instead of clear debris. So there we go. Now those babies will really start filling up. completely wall in the batteries and the geyser and leave the solar to slowly expand when we want to to uh, be back up to these geysers. Okay with that we're gonna call it an episode. Thanks for coming by guys and hope you guys are liking the new RimWorld playthrough. This is Fort Defiance with Anthony Wood, uh, Bronze Dog, and Guild of Calm <laughs> instead of Calamity. Thanks for coming by and see you guys next time. Bye. And as always, please feel free to like, comment, subscribe, and share, guys. See you guys next time. Bye.